Let's take a look at the evolution of Baby Keem's production. In this video, I'm going to be making a beat in the style of his last three projects, starting with the sound of Bad Habits. Most of the beats off this tape feature minimalistic dark melodies paired with raw trap drums. On the first song of the album, Wolves, produced by Cardo Got Wings, we hear a dark, haunting piano. Yeah, yeah whoa, 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 dare I say it? 50 on my wrist, I might flip that. This melody feels so dark because it's made up entirely of semitone intervals. This creates an uneasy and unsettling feel otherwise known as dissonance. Let's lay down a similar chord progression to try and capture that vibe. I created this pattern with the Piano V2 plugin from Arturia. I added a Wolf compressor and a WOW control from Goodhertz to give it that vintage feeling that we hear on the original record. I then put a half time on it, chopped it up, and only used the first two bars. The next thing that I did was run a couple one shots through my microcosm guitar pedal for some more texture. I also added a perk loop to give the sample even more bounce. After the 8 bar intro, Cardo introduces some hard trap drums. Let's add some similar drums to our beat. In 2019, Keem dropped Die For My Bitch, and this is what Drake had to say about the album. Just even him saying that like I had the best album of 2019, that just meant a lot, like that goes, that goes far, especially coming from someone like that, so. Even though Keem received high praise from his peers, this is how he felt about the mixtape. Yeah, Die For My Bitch was like definitely a, uh, it was all over the place. I just, wanted, I just want people to hear like what I can do. On this album, Keem starts to introduce beat switch ups in his production. Talk us through the decision, cause you do it kind of frequently to change mm -hmm. the beat. Yeah, in the middle of a song, it can't. It stems from a, a <laughs> from from too many records, you know. Like the set, the switch up has to be better than the first part every Got time. It. On the song Mosh Pit, we hear the beat start off with a simple repetitive synth pattern. Hey, and I keep a cock for a dick, bitch. Beat around the bush. I, I created this pattern with the Scorch VST. I then added these effects to wash it out and give it a more psychedelic vibe. In the original song, we hear an unconventional kick pattern. The kick emphasizes the offbeat in the second half of the pattern, which creates an interesting groove. We also hear a stabby synth bass in place of an 808, as well as a scratch effect that complement the kick in the low end. In the second half of Mosh Pit, we hear another melody come in that sounds like a combination of strings and orchestral elements. I am 50 cent. I am 50 cent. I am 50 cent. I started off the melody with this violin. I then added another violin layer. I also added this brass layer. Then this trumpet that follows the original melody of the violin. Then these two violin layers from Splice to add some variation. The individual layers in this melody create depth even though the original patterns may seem simple. Let's add some similar elements to our beat. Team's 
most recent project, the Melodic Blue, features laid back, melancholic chord progressions mixed with up-tempo trap beats designed to turn up live shows. One of the most iconic songs off of the Melodic Blue, in my opinion, is Range Brothers. The song features three separate beats, which each increase in energy as the song progresses. Many of the beats on Melodic Blue use minimal reverse synth melodies. We can use this as a reference point for the melody in the first section of the beat. I reversed this melody that I created using Cradle the Prince VST. I laid down some simple drums again. We hear Keem introduce a dark orchestral melody with an ascending string line next. We can borrow this theme to construct a melody for our next switch up. I used the Joshua Bell Violin Contact Bank. Then I laid down some simple trumpets with the Chris Hine Brass Contact Bank. I layered those trumpets with this Mellotron preset. Then I laid down this simple piano pattern. I then took that piano and ran it through some of my guitar pedals, which gave me this. Altogether, the melody that we created sounds like this. The pattern in the original song is quite busy with rolls and extra perks. I added lots of hi-hat rolls and lower octaves using the one-third grid step. This is a great way to make your drum pattern stand out and sound a lot more aggressive and mean. Final beat switch features a reverse melody with some simple drums. I then chopped it up in Fruity Slicer. I added this synth from Analog Lab. I then added this textural layer to round it off and give some more variation to the melody. The drums are very simple on this beat. Thanks for watching and in the comments let me know whose sound you want me to break down next.